In the last lecture, we had discussion on distortionless LTI systems and we calculated the transfer function for the same and after that, we obtained the conditions for an LTI system to be distortionless. So first I will write down the transfer function we obtained in the last lecture h j omega it is also known as the frequency response we can write as h omega the simple way to write h j omega we omitted this j here and it was equal to k times k is a constant e raised to power minus j omega t naught where t naught is the delay and omega is the angular frequency t naught is the delay provided by the LTI system to all the different frequency components. We are considering the distortionless LTI system. This means there will be no magnitude distortion and there will be no phase distortion. And as there is no phase distortion or delay distortion, the delay provided by the system will remain same for all the frequency components. So this t naught here is the delay. And from here we can easily obtain the conditions for an LTI system to be distortionless. We can find out the magnitude of h omega. It will be equal to k, a constant. Therefore, the magnitude is independent of the angular frequency omega. We can also find the phase of h omega. It will be equal to minus omega t naught. Here the phase is not independent of the angular frequency. They have the linear relationship. I will rewrite this equation like this. Phase of h omega is equal to minus t naught omega plus zero. Here minus t naught is a constant. It is not depending on any parameter in the network. It is a constant. Therefore the phase of transfer function is depending on angular frequency in a linear manner. This equation is in the form y equal to mx plus c. c is the intercept and it is equal to 0. This means our straight line will pass through the origin. y is equal to phase of h omega. x is equal to angular frequency omega. So we are plotting the characteristics between the phase of transfer function and the angular frequency omega. Here m is the slope and it is equal to minus t naught. The slope is negative. So we will have the characteristics like this. We have already seen these characteristics in the last lecture. Here the slope is equal to minus t naught. And we already know the slope, the slope is equal to the first derivative of phase of h omega with respect to omega. So we will have d phase of h omega d omega and we know slope is equal to minus t naught. So we can write minus t naught is equal to d phase of h omega d omega or we can write t naught is equal to negative of first derivative of phase of h omega with respect to omega. So this is what we have from the characteristics and we can also obtain the delay directly from the equation of a straight line. From this equation we can obtain t naught. t naught is equal to minus phase of h omega over omega. So we have another way to calculate the delay t naught and in case of distortionless LTI systems you will have the same result using this formula or this formula. So we can say the delay t naught will be equal to negative of phase of h omega over omega for any omega equal to omega 1 will be same as negative of first derivative of phase of h omega with respect to omega for any omega equal to omega 1. This is true in case of distortionless LTI systems. Distortionless LTI systems. But generally they are not same. 
but in case of LTI systems you will get the same time delay T0 using the two different formulas. Now we will move to the next part of this lecture and as I told you generally negative of phase of H omega over omega is not same as negative of first derivative of phase of H omega with respect to omega and as they are not same they must be having some different names. Negative of phase of transfer function over omega is known as phase delay. It is known as phase delay and negative of first derivative of phase of transfer function with respect to omega is known as group delay. It is known as group delay. So we can say that in case of distortionless LTI systems, the phase delay is same as the group delay. So this is one important point you should remember. In case of distortionless LTI systems, the phase delay is same as the group delay. Now we will discuss what is phase delay and what is group delay. And for this I will take one LTI system. In our LTI system, the input will have the same notation xt and the output will also have the same notation yt, LTI system. The input xt is equal to mt multiplied to cos omega ct. Now I will explain what is mt and what is cos omega ct. MT is known as envelope, it is known as envelope or it is known as group of frequencies, it is known as group of frequencies. On the other hand cos omega ct is known as the high frequency carrier, it is the high frequency carrier or single frequency signal. It is also known as single frequency signal and it can be sine or cosine only. Now we will understand the meaning of envelope and high frequency carrier. On your screen you can see one figure. In that figure the upper and lower signals defining the amplitude is known as envelope and thus it is having more than one signal and therefore we have group of frequencies. On the other hand the blue waveform is having the high frequency and it is known as the carrier and together they are forming our input xt. So input xt is having two different parts. The first part is known as envelope and the second part is known as high frequency carrier. Now we will see what will happen to the output if the system is providing some delay. The output is yt and it is equal to m t minus some delay and this delay we call group delay. So in envelope having the multiple frequencies is delayed by group delay tg and it is equal to negative of first derivative of phase of transfer function with respect to omega and its unit is seconds. The unit of phase delay is also seconds. Now we will talk about the high frequency carrier. The system is providing the delay to the high frequency carrier also which is cos omega ct and the delay provided to cos omega ct is the phase delay T P. T G is the representation of the group delay and T P is the representation of the phase delay and we have already seen the formula for the group delay and the phase delay. Here is the formula for the phase delay, the unit is second and the formula for the group delay and the unit is second. So this is all you should know about the phase delay and the group delay. Whenever you have the multiple frequency component there will be group delay and whenever you have the single frequency component there will be phase delay and by using the formula you can easily calculate it. 
we will solve the questions in the next lecture but before ending this lecture i will define the phase delay and the group delay we will first talk about the phase delay so phase delay is the delay provided by the system to the single frequency or monotone part of the input the input is xt and it is having two different parts and this part cos omega ct is the single frequency signal or monotone part of the input signal therefore the delay provided to this part is known as the phase delay on the other hand the group delay the group delay is also a delay provided by the system but this delay is provided to the envelope or the group of frequencies part of input the first part of the input is the envelope or group of frequencies part and the delay provided to this part of the input is known as group delay phase delay is represented by tp and the group delay is represented by tg phase delay is equal to negative of phase of transfer function over angular frequency omega for some angular frequency omega 1 so if we know the transfer function and the angular frequency omega 1 we can easily calculate the phase delay the group delay on the other hand is equal to negative of first derivative of phase of transfer function with respect to omega for some omega equal to omega 1 in this case also if we know the transfer function and omega 1 we can easily calculate the group delay in case of distortionless LTI systems they are same if you want you can put you can put phase of h omega equal to minus omega t naught here you will find the group delay is equal to minus d minus omega t naught d omega with respect to omega t naught is a constant so we have minus minus t naught first derivative of omega with respect to omega so it is equal to t naught so group delay is equal to t naught in case of distortionless LTI systems and now we will calculate the phase delay for the distortionless LTI system it is equal to minus minus omega t naught over omega so we have omega t naught over omega or we can say t naught so the phase delay is equal to t naught and the group delay is also equal to t naught so we can say that in case of distortionless LTI systems the phase and group delays are same so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will solve some problems based on group delay and phase delay if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one